If you know you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, you're only days away from your customers knowing as well. Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Keep watching and get more tips on solutions and prevention. If you have found this information helpful, click on the like button below. When you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, staffing is a key component. Not only are they gonna help you keep the place cleaner, but you also have to identify key employees to directly help you with trapping and removal of the traps. You don't wanna leave that to just anyone. Lots of people go home and talk about what's going on in their jobs and rats would be a hot topic. So avoid anybody who may be disgruntled or new and stick with the staff members who will be discreet and that you trust. Splattered grease in kitchens, it's kind of a thing. Happens to everyone. It's imperative you clean that up every day. Really best to do it the second it happens because it coagulates and gets difficult to clean. Rats love grease. It's like crack for them. Get rid of that drug and keep your place clean. The notorious back door, often left propped open during cigarette breaks and taking trash out. It's a critical point for a restaurant. You've got to keep that door closed in between deliveries and never have it propped open. The prep area. It often goes unchecked because prep cooks come in earlier than everyone else. They get the food prepared for the line cooks and typically they're gone. Sometimes even they, during lunch service. So it's often difficult to pull them aside before they leave and go through their station to make sure it's clean. A checklist is a great idea for your management team or yourself. If you have any questions or need help, call or text me at the number below. I'll get back to you quickly and I'll discreetly solve your problem.